Welcome back to Scripps News tonight. I'm Chance Seals in Washington. We want to update you on some breaking news coming in. Israel's cabinet has now approved a temporary ceasefire with Hamas. It comes with big strings attached. Scripps News White House correspondent Haley Bull is back with us now. Haley, after, what, six weeks of negotiations, what a difference 25 minutes makes? We just last talked then. What do we know? Good evening, Chance. This is a really significant breakthrough. Reportedly, Israel's cabinet approving a ceasefire deal with Hamas. Reportedly, according to the Associated Press, this would pave the way for about a four-day halt in exchange for the release of 50 of those more than 200 hostages being held by Hamas. The AP saying that the government saying the first hostages would be women and children. Now all day we have heard positive and hopeful indicators from Israel, from the Qataris, and from the White House about nearing this deal being finalized. The president earlier today saying that we were, quote, very close to reaching the potential deal for a hostage release. There are a lot of questions about the contours of this deal that we will look for in the coming hours, including how quickly it is implemented and the next steps uh, that go along with this. We know there are at least 10 Americans unaccounted for, and of those, a three-year-old girl uh, among the unaccounted for. Uh, this is a significant development, though, as this has been an intricate process uh, going on for weeks, notably President Biden speaking with his Qatari counterpart just last week, including on the efforts to release hostages. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu indicating he had asked President Biden uh, for his intervention earlier and that the contours of that deal were uh, improved to include more hostages. We are continuing to keep an eye out as we get more confirmed details, Chance. Yeah, now about 200 families wondering how will they choose who's released? When does it go into effect? Will it hold for all four days? Haley Bull, thank you for the latest. I know you're going to bring it to us as you get it.